Hi everyone and welcome back. Boy, I haven't been here in a while. Anyway, I made some shrimp rangoon which I was dying to make. The first thing you're gonna do is saute your shrimp just till it's pink. Do not overcook it. Then you're gonna put it in the chopper and chop it up. Then you're gonna get some softened cream cheese. <laughs> Mine wasn't that soft, but please make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature. And you're gonna add, you know what, whatever spices you like. I wanted it a little spicy, so I added smoked paprika, some chili crisp, and some Asian explosion barbecue rub. I'm telling you, whatever taste you want on those shrimps, you add it in there. Then you're gonna just mix all that together with your cream cheese. Take a dollop and put it on your wonton wrapper right in the middle. I wrapped my wontons a little different, looked like a little boat. It was cute and they were super delicious. So after you mix it all up, you take your wonton wrappers And you take that dollop and you place it right on the middle there. This was my first attempt at making this. So please don't judge if it looks a little messy. Let me tell you for the first time, it wasn't too bad. Then you continue to do this with all your wrappers. It made a lot too. And that was about, I don't, I forget how much shrimp that was. If it was a pound or two pounds, I'm not sure. I don't know. I forget. I made this a while back. I just never posted the video till now. Then you're gonna wrap them and you're gonna put water on the edges as you see me doing here. That's just a little water, not too much. Don't let it go to the middle of the paper of the wrapper just the edges and you're gonna fold it whichever way you like if you have another method go right ahead and use it this was what i did just folded it up like a triangle and then folded up the edges again you're gonna put a little water on all the edges remember that that's what makes it stick together and you're gonna get your oil hot i don't know what temperature because i didn't have a thermometer just make sure your wonton doesn't sit in the oil. Make sure it is hot when you put them in. My first batch came out a little too crispy probably, but it was good. It was nice and crunchy and crispy. But then I lowered the heat a little bit, let it cool a little bit, and the other batches were a lot better. See, a little crispy on the edges, but it was still fine. <laughs> And actually, I loved this recipe. I can't wait to make it again. Next time, I'm going to try the crab, like most people do. But I love shrimp, so I made the shrimp. Here, I used some Hellman spicy mayonnaise dressing. And it went really well with it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.